Okay, let's look at the final paragraph of this complaint letter. In this last paragraph, you really need to be clear on what you want to solve the problem. How can the problem be solved? Probably would be good to give an exact number, like a money number, or a date, or a time frame. You need to really explain if you have a number, like how much money, you need to say, how is that money related to the problem? Like, if you're saying, give me a thousand dollars, you have to explain exactly why a thousand dollars. How is a thousand dollars equal to this problem? You cannot just say, oh, I feel you should give me about a thousand dollars. So clarity is important and logic. You need to think about a few options, right? There are many options. You could get credit, you could ask for credit. You could ask for future credit. In the future, you buy more, which is always a good idea because in a way you're saying, I trust you, I know this is just a mistake. In the future, I'd like to buy more. In the future, can you give me credit? This often happens and it's a great way to keep a relationship going. And as what I mentioned earlier, is well known in business that sometimes a mistake can actually make your business have a better relationship in the long term. Now, hopefully we don't make the same mistake again and again, that would be a problem. But one time or two times can help us actually work it out and become closer. So maybe a future credit, or maybe you want a replacement, or maybe you want some extra free products, right? I know some people, that's what they always like to ask for. They say, hey, it's broken, so give me one or two more. Which is kind of strange because if it's broken, why do you want more? They might be broken too, but anyway, you get the idea. There are many options, so be clear on what it is you think is best. Let's look at this example. The first one is the consumer example. So we'll take the consumer example. I am generally very happy using your, compu your company's computers. Now that's a, that's a great positive thing, you see. I like that positive feeling. But I feel I did not cause the problem my computer has. Although your company allows only one free repair, my computer should be repaired free of charge. So this is what he wants right here. I want to be repaired free of charge. The price of repair is 1,400 NT. Wow, that's perfectly clear. So this is what I want, and this is how much it costs, which is a very large amount for me. I am currently a student and do not work. I hope you can help me with this matter, and I can begin using my computer soon because it is very important to my studies. So clear about those two points. What is it you want, and then how does this thing relate to the problem? Very easy to understand, I like that. Here's the business to business example. We have contacted the shipping company and were informed that the crates were damaged because of incorrect packaging. So I like this little piece here. He's not being angry. He's just saying, this is not our fault. This must be your fault. We understand that mistakes happen. So that's being positive. Some things happen, it's okay. To fix, it, to fix this mistake, we would appreciate your adding five crates at no charge to our next order. Adding five crates to our next order. So there you go again, very clear, right? We've got in that paragraph exactly what it is you want and how it relates. We lost five crates, you should give us five crates in the next order, very positive. In this, uh, in the ebook here at the end of the chapter, we have some examples you can look at. And again, I remind you to take a look. Remember the heading, opening, body, and closing, remember? This is what? This is the sender, this is the receiver, and this is from the sender. And this here, of course, is the body, the content of your paragraphs. Okay, so let's quickly remember the most important thing is stay calm and stay clear. What happened, what's the situation, and what do you want? And if you do that, I think you'll be very successful with your letters of complaint. Your assignment for this part is to practice writing a letter of complaint using your QBL online software. Let's try 100 words. 
And let's do the exercise C, which is in the chapter four complaint letter, which is going to be on page 179. In this case, you're going to write a complaint letter to this company here, address right up here, and the situation is down here. So you read that situation and see if you can write a complaint letter for that situation. Try it for 100 words. Keep it simple, keep the sentences short, and remember to stay focused and just give the facts and then tell exactly what you want. That way you'll have a winning complaint letter.